Walk around the compound. You know, she's looking at me. <laughs> she was looking at the screen, but then when I came in the room, she's looking at me. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, sugar pie. Oh my gosh. Don't. Okay. Hi, sugar pie. Oh, big stretches. Big stretches. Hi, beautiful. Okay. We got to let you know about little Miss Zara. She got a little ouchie. She got a little ouchie. Yeah. Well, kind of a big ouchie, actually. And I know that it's going to probably be like, oh, but it's one of those things like, she, trust me, she's going to recover. She's going to be okay. She's going to be fine. But she ended up actually getting a spiral fracture in her uh, one of her hind legs. You know, she got it. She got it when she jumped off the couch. Are you looking at the TV? Are you looking at Kung Fu Panda? Yeah. Now, there's a couple different things that kind of factor into that that whole thing. Um, more than likely, uh, we were dealing with some uh, nutrient deficiencies that caused her bones to be uh, weaker. And we are working towards fixing that the those deficiencies it, it's a very similar it's not the same condition though as wobblers we don't think but it's very similar to like what Zuby and Raleigh um, were going through and it's going to be very much so like similar treatment they had bones that were breaking as well when they were babies they had bones that were breaking when they were babies and we had to put them in the sunroom which we're going to be doing that. but here's the thing oh I'm going to I'm going to explain some different stuff about the crazy couple of days or the crazy couple of well crazy week um, but yeah, she was playful and rambunctious, literally jumped off the couch and then she's like, Ugh! and then she picked up her leg and started limping and it's like, ah, crap. So of course we took her to go see Dr. Bill and she ended up having what's known as a spiral fracture. So it's not a clean break. It's not of course where the bones pop out, but it's basically like the bone gets, the bone gets twisted and then it kind of splinters. So it's not, again, hi baby. <laughs> <laughs> she's very she's still very sweet still very spunky um and it is actually something that is relatively common in uh in babies in like babies and toddlers both people and animals it's something not i wouldn't say relatively common but it's certainly not uncommon um you ask any vet and they will have seen their fair share of puppies and kittens uh, it, seeing the same same sort of injuries just from normal rough and tumble rough housing and stuff like that so dr. Bill not worried at all about her <laughs> about her recovery but we were gonna be we have to put her in the sunroom we have, she's in here for now she's in here for now of course because uh, now it happened about a week ago and she's actually putting more weight on it right now so that's a good thing happened about a week ago why you you're crazy of course, we have her TV and her cartoons. Her Kung, she likes Kung Fu Panda. I don't think she's so much of a How to Train Your Dragon girl. I think she's definitely more of a Kung Fu Panda girl. She that's that's her speed. That is her speed, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> she's like, yeah. It's like, I like I like when they beat stuff up. I like when they beat stuff up. That is that makes me happy. That makes me happy when they beat stuff up. Um, but we're gonna be moving her. Now, of course, we have to we have to do the since because of uh, our treatment since we treated Zuby and Raleigh for bone density issues, uh, we know how to we know how to treat little Miss uh, little Miss Zara. And here's the other thing: we think that that injury actually may have been um, there may have been a, a slight there may have been a slight spiral fracture that just got further exacerbated. Because she actually did have a slight limp. I don't know, like, you, there, there's, you might be able to go back in some of the videos that I've posted uh, of her kind of running and playing. She actually did have a slight little kind of like, uh, like, just almost imperceptible because she was running around, but she did actually have a little bit of a, of a weird kind of gait. G-A-I-T. 
So yeah. So yeah. Um, but like I said, not worried. We just have to be able, you know, we got to move her from the vet center up to the sunroom. And currently we have lemurs in the sunroom. Now we have to be able to move said lemurs. Oh, hold on one second. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound Web cast. Possibly a day late. I'm not sure. It's been busy. It's been busy. But anyway, we've got those lemurs. They're up in the sunroom. And I, I will say Momo. Momo's getting big. Oh, she's getting big. She's got a tummy on her. She's looking pretty good. But look at this pretty Lara. Look at this pretty little lady with her crossity peats. Um but We've got to move that troop of three plus Momo down to their um, down to their enclosure over there. But it's good that we have this right here. Their enclosure is comprised of two inch by four inch mesh. Okay, and that's enough for a little Momo potentially to get her entire body. I actually had a piece of. Uh, of fencing and I took it into I took it into the uh, into the this the sunroom and I was uh, I was like all right Momo grab onto this thing she's like I don't know what is, what is this I'm like grab onto it she's like all right so she grabbed onto it and I was kind of looking I was kind of looking like at her like at her body like mm, yeah that's kind of close thinking like oh boy she might be able to kind of squeeze out of those bars so we had to go and cover the uh, had to cover that little house of theirs in chicken wire in chicken wire well good sir Mr. Ace Mr. Ace, I'm so very excited to be able to talk to you on this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast with your special guest host, Julia Child. Bon appétit! <laughs> oh. and, and I've gotta, I've gotta, I gotta drive back. I gotta drive back to work tonight. Uh, I gotta go back to work. And, <sighs> there's a kitty cat. She is right there. I, again, I'm going to be able to, to possibly have a couple of one-off kind of videos. I filmed a lot of crap before I went on my little vacation. Me and Heidi, Heidi and I, went to Ohio visiting some in-laws. That's where Heidi grew up, in the OH area. And uh, I filmed a bunch. This bush just tried to murder me. Oh. There was a tiger behind this bush. <laughs> Indeed. I'm sorry. I falsely accused you, Bush. Shake hands. There we go. There! What did that bush do to you? I just made friends with that bush. And now it's dead. Are you jealous? Are you jealous of the bush? I think you are. So, yeah. I, I gotta... Gotta drive back tonight. Spent all day. Spent all day um, covering the uh, that lemur enclosure with the chicken wire. And, and we have to. There's other things we have to get ready. So hopefully it'll be ready to, for them to move tomorrow. Hopefully ready to move. But I, again, I was away. I had to kind of. I had to put a bunch of my kind of. Uh, I had to film a bunch of things and put them in the can, so to speak, as far as Patreon videos or my weekly squeak videos that I do for Facebook or, you know, I wasn't able to film any extra whisper casts. No extra whisper casts. I even had to upload a, uh, a video that I took of uh, little Zara when she was playing around. Oh, I actually, I do have another video of Zara chasing the llamas. Um, this is, again, pre-injury. And I'll upload that. But I, I, it's like, I only have so much stuff left in the can, and 
in the time that I've gotten back from Ohio and in between the time and now the time that I have to go to work, this, this right here, filming the walk around the compound webcast is the, it's really going to be the only, well, one of the only things that I'm going to do. I might film, look at the, oh my gosh, he was being very cute. Oh, but I got close to his proteins. It was feed day. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. Proteins. You're very cute. Hi, bud. Didn't put his feet on there. He's like, you see this proteins? It's my proteins. I make you dead. I make you dead if you get close to my proteins. I got my eye on you. Ha ha ha. See? Because he's got one eye. Oh. Hi. Hey, pretty. Hi, Shanti. I miss Shanti. Oh. But again, we're going to move Zara into the sun room because sun is a critical component uh, for accelerating uh, vitamin D production in the body. And that is also going to accelerate healing factor, make her a little bit of a wolverine. Also, it, again, it's she's getting extra she's getting extra medicine and she she has doctor's orders, doctor bill orders that she has to stay inside of the uh She's got to stay inside of the, like, a confined space. So we're actually going to be putting her into that big transport cage. We're going to be putting her into that big transport cage. Ha, huh, Bobby. Bobby. And then moving that into the sunroom. Hopefully within a week or two, we'll be able to, you know, give her a little bit more freedom, a little bit more leeway, and she'll be able to kind of tear around in there and, you know, give, give uh, me and Heidi all sorts of headaches. So, um, but yeah, she's still a little pistol, still a little pistol. It's just one of those kind of things. It happens. It does. It does. And it just kind of, and like, you know, people might say like, well, you know, nutrient deficiencies and all that stuff. And what about the, where she came from? And that's, you have to realize like, like similar things happened to Zuby and Raleigh and squeak. Maybe squeak? No squeak? Sad squeak. Dejected. <gasps> oh! Hi, baby. But anyway, I was saying, you know, we were caring for Zuby and Rob, like, from, from the beginning. From the beginning. So, yeah. It's... It could be something that's a slight genetic factor, you know, regardless, we're just, we're pumping her full of all sorts of vitamins and, and doc, like I said, I talked to Dr. Bill and he is, he's basically like, he's completely nonchalant. He's like, yeah, she'll be fine. Like, she'll be fine. Just like, okay. So please don't worry. Please don't worry. <laughs> Some people, sometimes, you guys like, ah, ah. you get a little bit uh, animated, you know, when it comes to some of the health concerns. You know, like one of the cats, who is this? Is this Luca? Like, let's say that Luca sneezes Achoo! in a webcast. Is that okay? I think he's got pneumonia. He's got typhoid. Lucas got typhoid. Hashtag pray for your Lucas typhoid. Ooh. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, look at that. Look at that belly. Look at it. It's like a there's like a face. Like, hey. It's more of just like eyes and a nose. Just hanging out here. In the belly. What's up? Hmm. What else can you see in the stripes? Oh, it's like a Rorschach test. Ooh, fun! I see piles of dead puppies and like, oh wow, okay. And then they, the, the psychiatrist is like, huh, 
Scribble, scribble, scribble. Okay. <laughs> what else do you see? <laughs> oh, do you now? <gasps> Papa! Papa! Papa Vance! Papa Vance! Bowie! Pa 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 pa! Bowie, 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 Bowie! Old man! Old man, old fella, but yeah. Oh, I don't know, Momo probably, she may protest a little bit about it, like I have to be outside? What am I, some sort of animal? Ha! I don't protest! Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Capture. Why did I even do that? There's no need to capture that. It was blurry. It was blurry and it was far away. Not a good capture. Not a good crap. Not a good. That was a crapture. Ha! <laughs> ah! Gosh, I'm just so funny. Oof, that, uh, that hurricane, Hurricane Harvey, uh, tearing up uh, Houston. A lot of people that, you know, because Texas is a huge place. It's the largest state in the continental United States. Continental United States. I know, uh, Alaska, it's not continental. <laughs> it's a difference. Oh, proteins. Oh, 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 hold on. Let's see if we can get some of them rays. There we go. There we go. Looch Lou! Capture! Capture! No, don't look over there! Look over here! You! Blue, blue, blue! Capture! Capture! Lou! Well. Can't say I didn't try. Will you leave me alone? I'm trying to eat. Yeah, Hurricane Harvey. Like, wow. Just tearing through the place. And and uh, Texas is a really big place. And I got a lot of really just nice, wonderful, kind messages. Like, I hope that you're okay. But as you can see, it's just, everything's fine. Everything, there's, we're very far away. There was no... We didn't even get like any minor rain, uh, rain effects, which that, that even in and of itself, like you have to realize we are in a very specific location that, um, just simply they, they really don't get affected by hurricanes. Um, even though we are in Texas and even though geographically speaking, we're, we're closer, we're as far as the mileage is concerned, we're closer than, say, maybe, like, Tennessee or Kentucky, who they could, actually. Like, people in Tennessee or Kentucky could actually get affected or, or have gotten affected way more by, by hurricane activity than uh, people here in this part of Texas. Um, it just has to do... Uh, it's... Okay... Hurricanes, let me get a little bit of meteor, meteorological lesson over here. Um, the primary driving force for hurricanes is the latent heat of condensation uh, from warm ocean water. You need warm ocean water in order for hurricanes. Hi! Hi, Chomp Chomp. I'm not trying to take your proteins. No, I'm not trying to take your proteins. Ooh, hi, bud. Hi, sweetie pie. Um, but they need warm ocean waters. That's why you only ever see hurricanes happening in late summer. Because the sun needs to cook certain parts of the ocean, make tropical storms. A bunch of storms kind of get together. They start to rotate. Um, because it's just, you, parts of, look, oh my, oh my gosh. Look at your belly. Look at your belly. Just rotation is just a, it's a normal part of the convec. It's, it's, 
I'm just gonna roll my way over to you, bro. I'm gonna roll my way over to you. Just hold on over there. I'm gonna get you some snuffles, bro. Gonna get you some snuffles. Just hold on. Let me roll myself over. Okay, I'm over here. Here's some snuffles. You want some snuffles? <laughs> Alright, here's some snuffles, bro. Love you, bro. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too, Diwali. That's Diwali's uh, fat guy voice. <laughs> hey, bro. I love you, bro. He just like, you know, he's just, he's got a, he just, he wears a, wears a, wears a hat. He's got one of those big, one of those gigantic, like, thermoses. You know, I can uh, put a uh, whole pot of coffee or two liters of Coca-Cola in here, bro. Love you, bro. Love you too, bud. <laughs> he's, a, he's a Steelers fan. He's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. That guy. Oh, oh, he's getting up. Because, again, they just ate. I mean, some of the kids are still eating. So, yeah, he must have packed his away very quickly. As you can see by his belly and the fact that there's a, uh, there's a, uh, bone, um, that is mysterious. Oh, my gosh, this, uh, you know, the case of the missing meat. What happened? Let's look for clues. <laughs> hey, hey, bud. I know you're still waiting. Oh, I'm okay. Okay, I. Right. That's just gonna get it. He's gonna get annoyed if I keep on going over there. <clears throat> so anyway, so hurricanes only form in the in the late summer months because the water's warm and it's able to provide fuel for enhanced, prolonged convective activity. A lot of times, it's like a bunch of different storms. That kind of blend together. Oh, they'll they'll form. They'll they have their different stages. Like you have a you have a tropical depression, tropical depression. Then you have tropical storm, and then you have hurricane. And then different categories of hurricanes. Anyway, once they make landfall, once they make landfall, they they are no longer guided and fueled, of course, by warm ocean water they have their main fuel source taken away from them they're taken away so what happens is that now those storms they're at the mercy of the uh, of the prevailing upper level steering flow winds uh -huh. so the stuff like you know high up in the sky oftentimes moves a lot quicker well almost always almost always moves way quicker than the stuff here down at the surface it's because stuff down here at the surface it's kind of tempered by a frictional layer you have to think of uh you have to think of uh the atmosphere it's it, it behaves very fluid like molecules of air they kind of flow and stuff here close to the the, the surface level or the gradient level um you know, they, they get slowed down by, by frictional forces. <gasps> Look at these sleepy boys. Were they just having a nap? Were you boys just having a nap? So, they, uh, they get to land. They get their, they get their legs kind of cut out of, out from them. And they're just kind of, they're just kind of dangling marionettes. They're still storms, technically, but they get over land and then they get, uh, they get caught by the winds in the sky. And they get, they get cast away. So even if they make Texas-based landfall, they, let's say, let's say, that, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a weird triangle. It's not really Texas. But anyway, it's it's supposed to be more like that. All right, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so like here's Dallas, and there's San Antonio, there's Houston, there's El Paso, there's Amarillo. It's up over there. All right. Um, so here's the Gulf, Gulf Coast. Like 
hurricanes will come in and then they, they lose, they get their legs cut out from them, and then immediately they get taken over by the prevailing trade winds, and then they become an extra tropical system, and then they poof, they get pushed that way. They just, they always, you can look at like years, like close to a century's worth of hurricane storm tracks, historical hurricane storm tracks, and they, they all, they come, they come from the Gulf. All right, I'm going to mess that bridge board up. Oh, they, get, they get every single one of them. It's physics. It's physics. So maybe maybe like a, a storm will get caught up. And like sometimes what will happen, an upper level trough or like an upper level jet pattern will actually catch the hurricane just right, turn it into an extra tropical system. And then you'll have like a low pressure kind of system that just goes like, ha, ha, ha. And it's fueled now by... Uh, like a trough pattern it's actually fueled by like a jet stream and then moisture is coming up into it so then it becomes a whole different thing and uh it'll it'll just sit there and spin and then it just spits just like rain and like oh we're over here it just spits rain at us like pip 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 and we're we're just like eh, stop it <laughs> but that's it's not that much it's like eh, stop spitting rain at us stop it stop so a lot of people were very they were very worried um you know about us and about hurricane harvey but we're fine we're fine a lot of harrowing stories and uh, my heart goes out of course to the people who have lost loved ones it's that's uh it's terrible it is and of course you see the videos of people being res rescued of animals being rescued and it's hard, it's one of those things where it's like it's a mixed bag of emotions because there's some animals that get left because people literally had no time to make any sort of like discernible decisions. They like, or there's times where like people are forcibly evacuated. They're forcibly removed by the authorities. And they're told like, no, you cannot take your animals with you. And then it's just like, well, crap. And then you have, so then you got all these videos of the Cajun Navy, <laughs> the Cajun Navy. Basically just like a bunch of just, you know, awesome country folk who uh, happen to have flat bottom boats. They're out there and they're picking people up and they're getting dogs and they're, they're, they're letting horses out of corrals and stuff like that. And that's really awesome. It's really awesome. It's heartwarming when you can see that stuff. People come together. I mean, of course. And everyone's just, you know, and that was, that was a great thing also that, that it's kind of being focused upon. Because this event, um, you're seeing people of different uh, socioeconomic, socioeconomic backgrounds and different races. And of course, like different religions kind of coming together um, to, to help and you know there's been a lot of different things in the news is like that that shows america is a lot more divided it, this that is america that right there like the the stuff that is being bandied about in the news that's just very divisive and very hate filled and very that's not those are those are assholes those are uh you know people who are are playing dress up and just looking for an excuse to just go out and just be you know, douchebags, and and it, it's 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 the extremes on the end, and then so many times we're led to believe that that's just that's just what everyone is, and it's not on one side or another side. It doesn't matter what side. It's just there's a lot of there's people on extremes who are just they're assholes, and what you see, you know, coming from stuff like Harvey, you know, that's that's really that's really what America is. That, that, you know, united we stand kind of, kind of thing. And that was good to see. Zoom in, zoom out. Subs! Subs! Gunter! Gunter, Gunter! No! Oh. So. Oh man. Yeah, we were all day, all day, um, from uh, nine in the morning till about six. We had to, so th we have the two, the two by four inch mesh, and then we had to put a layer of chicken wire, which then had to get, it had to get stapled all over the place, and then every, it has to get wired together all over the place, and you have to inspect every like little nook and cranny 
for any Momo sized holes. <laughs> oh boy, all day climbing up on top. Screw that tree in particular. In particular. So, yeah, big undertaking. Big, big undertaking. But um, it wasn't just me. It was uh, uh, former intern Morgan, of course, Rachel was out here helping. Uh, our new interns, I don't remember their names. I literally, I, I'm, I, this is bad. I call them yellow pants and blue pants because when we were learning how to, when they were learning how to butcher, one of them was wearing yellow shorts and the other one was wearing blue shorts. That's how I remember them. I know. It's, just don't judge. Don't judge me, please. <laughs> They helped too. They were out with me all day. And they were awesome. They were awesome. But we still, there's still more work that needs to be done to this thing. There's still more inspections that need to take place before we feel good about uh, putting, uh, you know, Rita Mort, Miss Stewart in there with that little mill mill. Because this is, these are the stakes. These are the stakes. Momo gets out, she could possibly get confused look and look at the other troop of lemurs and say like oh that's where i'm supposed to go and then go in there and they'll kill her those are the stakes that we're dealing with and that's why we have to be so careful <laughs> now this is the thing more than likely like she's not even going to want to leave miss rita She's not even gonna want to leave her. Like, ah, it's outside. It's scary. Oh my gosh! 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 From the side of her head. I mean, she's still, she's still recovering from that. Um, there's still, we still don't exactly know. Um, I mean, as as far as like what. Eh, I mean, Doctor Bill actually he came today to to see her, um, and we we increased her her access to the outdoors. Um, she hasn't been eating for a number of days. That's, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't read too much into that. I wouldn't read too much into that. Like, cats can go for a long time without eating. Um, but here's the thing. She saw Bill, she was pissed off. Which is a good sign. Saw Bill, pissed off. Now, the other, it's like, yeah, she, uh, she had the, uh, she had that tumor removed. She had the cancerous tumor removed. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this cute baby. And... The stuff that we were...